Good morning, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada, hidden away in the mountains on the Bow River. And so welcome to the Creative Escape. Today, I have a neat little technique for us to kind of showcase um, flower stamps. I suppose you could do it with any kind of stamps, but uh, today, Actually, I do have two that won't be flowers to examples to show you, but I think this is a neat way to show off our flower stamps. So, when you come on, say hello, tell me where you're from, chit chat back and forth. I love when we have little discussions, and so that way we'll get to know each other a little better. And uh, I don't know, it's always lots of fun. Next, let's see. I wanted to do a little draw for last week's Creative Escape here. Um, the It was a hit last week, that flap card. Lots of people did their versions of it, which was awesome. And I learned some new ideas from everyone else. So I'm sure that that happens with you too. So thank you so much for showing your versions. So those people that did, I have your name inside my little bucket here. And so let's draw someone here. Congratulations! You're the winner of the Creative Escape last week. Thank you for showing your version of the card. It was so neat. So I will be sending you a little treat in the mail. All right, so this coming week, do the same thing. Copy this layout, see what you think. I would love to see your versions. All right, so here is what we are going to be needing cardstock. So this time our card base is going to be measuring um, up and down version as opposed to a kind of our normal book style I suppose. Um, so measuring four and a quarter by 11 and fold it in half. Um, next you'll need a white or a lighter color of cardstock. Um, something that you can stamp on and say right on. So you'll need two pieces of those cut at four by five and a quarter. Next, coordinating de designer series paper, something that matches your colors, measuring one and five eighths by five and a quarter. Next, pick out your favorite adhesive. I don't know, some people like the liquid, some people like the snail like I do, some people use glue dots, all sorts of fun things we can use. You'll need your scissors for this um, project. Next, um, some stamps and coordinating ink. Now. Like I've said, this is a great way to showcase some of your flower stamps, but I tell you, I would love to see people take a risk and try a different set. That would be pretty cool. And lastly, of course, we want our embellishments. So things like ribbon, buttons, pearls, rhinestones, that kind of thing. Hello, Kim and Karma and Jennifer. Good morning to all of you. Okay, let me set up my screen here. Oh, I better not get that song in your head. <laughs> You'll be cursing me all day. All right, so we're going to jump right into this set, this technique, and afterwards I'm going to show you some fun different options that I did. So I'm going to start off with a simple version. Now I'm hoping this will work with this leaf stamp. If not, I gave it a try. So it's not even a flower, but uh, yeah. So like I said, you need the cardstock opening this way as opposed to our normal this way. Hopefully that made sense. Thanks for sharing, Jennifer. Yes, if you share this morning, I will put your name into a draw and I will send you four cards if you're the winner. Every time you comment, I will put your name into a draw for one of the cards that I make today or have made for today. So, away we roll. Thank you for reminding me of that, Jennifer. Hi, Michelle. Good morning. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, this is our envelope. I'm using all new products today. <gasps> it's 
kind of fun getting to play with the new stuff, I tell ya. All right, so first off, we need a piece of Whisper White, or that's the color that I'm going to be using. My cardstock is sea, uh, Seaside Spray. Isn't that blue beautiful? Ooh, I like this. This is going to get used a lot, and it is one of the new in colors. Okay. Next, I'm going to start stamping. So I'm going to use my Seaside Spray. There it is lost things already and I have barely begun. Seaside Spray and this is from, do I have it out here? Daisy Lane. It's that, um, the fern. I quite like it. I've used it quite a bit. So just the top portion. Ooh, this might be too big. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to switch this. I'm not loving this yet. It's going to be too big. So here's a lesson learned. <laughs> lesson learned already. Pick something that's maybe a little smaller than that fern. Um, how about... Let's go do this flower from To a Wild Rose big too. Back up. How about, let's use this little daisy instead of the fern. Let's do that. Oh, I suppose I, of course I put uh, ferns on the envelope and the inside, but that won't matter. Okay, take two. All right, so here's our little daisy. And so in the top third-ish, kind of in a row, I'm going to stamp this daisy stamp randomly, kind of across the way. Let's go that one. And we'll do one more. Okay, easy peasy. Kind of in a line, but it can, you want it to be kind of mixed up a little bit. Our next step is to get our scissors, and what we're going to do is kind of just make a bubble cut around the outside of the top of these daisies. How was everyone's weekend? Ours was pretty okay. <laughs> so we've decided to do the keto diet. So we were out and about. Hand busy and ready. Went to random dropped off Niles. Glasses had Timmy's in the mall with seniors. And rushed back for 11 to watch. Now on treadmill looks like going to pour in a while. Uh oh. You have had it busy already. Wow. Was your weekend okay? So there we have that layer. Next, I'm going to take my little piece of designer series paper and I'm going to glue it to the bottom of that portion. So I believe this was one and five eighths by five and a quarter. Look at this paper. Oh goodness, I gotta learn all the names of these things. <laughs> I think it's woven threads. Brandon trying to type on treadmill. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's our little bottom layer. Next, I'm going to just put a little piece, kind of our sentiment. I like this. This is a terracotta tile, our new color. So that's going to be behind this white layer. And this stamp set was an oldie, but it's continuing. Kindness and compassion. And I'm gonna use with heartfelt gratitude because I use so many thank you cards. So I'm gonna use the terracotta tile ink. This one scared me at the beginning, but when you pair it with this seaside spray, oh, gorgeous. Just make 
make sure it is dry. How about we pop that layer up? I think that would be neat. So let's turn it over. So you can, um, whoops, let's move it down a little. Put whatever sentiment you want. So this is the idea that I had for this card. Others I stamped right on the paper, as you'll see. Um, others I put a, like a oval, all different ways. So however you wanna add your little saying is good. Okay, so let's just pop that on there with heartfelt gratitude. Next, we are going to glue this onto our card base. Making sure to get the tops of those flowers. Placing this onto that seaside spray. Now here's where the fun starts. <laughs> so you know how we cut this before. Well now we're gonna cut it again, just leaving another little bubble cut over top. Kind of like a little border. Do you see where this is going? right to that crease. Simple but impressive, thank you. Have you tried this before, Kim? And you cut that little piece off along the side. And now you kind of have a card that when it opens, see how it's got kind of that open top? So now I have this, but I think that'll be okay. Well, we'll just, we'll just go with it. Okay, so here's the inside of my card. Of course, I want to put a layer in there so you can see your writing really well. And it just makes it look finished when you put the white in the inside. Okay, so I already pre-stamped it with that fern because I assumed I was going to be using that fern. But there we go. It's pretty neat, right? Um, let's add some pearls or something. Exciting. Uh, pearls, of, let's go with, mm, with heartfelt gratitude. Let's see. Let's go with diamonds. I always use pearls, right? <laughs> I love my pearls. Where is my take your pick tool? Can't be without this guy. And of course, if you need a little more goo on the end, just wind it and some more will pop out. want to do odd numbers it's just more pleasing to the eye um, let's go down here good you haven't done this one I know I did it differently I did it sideways as opposed to um, this way and it was same sort of deal it, it was a long time ago but um, yeah so then when you open it it had this edge right and it was kind of neat so that's a different way we could you know use the same layout and for the envelope I just stamped those ferns so once and then without re-inking I stamped it again just to have it a little more faint and I just used a little strip of that designer series paper on the front to add a little something uh oh and I've lost my pearl Let's try another one. Let's use a big one on that side. 
there that feels stuck all right so there's the daisy lane the little daisy and that saying is from kindness and compassion the seaside spray and the terracotta tile cute i like it okay so that's our first card that was kind of the simple version so this time we'll see it in a different kind of way adding a little more pizzazz to it i suppose this one i love this new stamp set free as a bird so I like the sayings, we're the best of friends. Hello, thanks for being you. The world needs more of you. Thank you and your friendship means a lot to me. Isn't that nice? So why didn't you want to use the fern? Um, because I knew you could, but I knew I had this strip of paper going here. And so it would kind of cover up the fern, I suppose. That's, I don't know. Uh, you could. I just knew, or that if it went that, you know, quite high, then you're not going to get the, as, as big of an effect here, I suppose. That's kind of what my thinking was. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so freeze a bird. Love it. We saw this at our um, on stage convention, and uh, wow, lots of people did such amazing projects with it. So let's give this a whirl. Okay, let's put these bits inside. So I already did some stamping and coloring. So it's not a flower, but I decided to, you know, it's flowerly. It's it's naturish. <laughs> So I stamped this bird set right in the middle and then I used this little leaf stamp kind of facing in just to kind of complete the edges. Hopefully that makes sense. And I used of course my Stampin' Blends to give this some color. Um, the card base I'm going to use is Crumb Cake. And so now I'm going to trim around this stamped portion. So of course the more um, you trim around things, the more it will, I guess, be effective with this layout, I suppose, technique. I don't even know why, it's not really a layout, I shouldn't say that. But, so it was fun coloring this this morning. I got up super early because I, I Kevin only gave me so much time to work on yesterday. And so I wasn't quite done. I wanted to make some cool examples for you. So I was up early, and this was fun coloring these little birdies this morning. Very relaxing. This would definitely be an amazing set if you love coloring or you love blends. It would be a good one. Do you have this at Lisa or Kim? Free as a bird. I hear the birds chirping outside here. They get pretty loud sometimes. There. Okay. Plus this free as a bird. There again, I don't remember the paper name but it comes with designer series paper which is absolutely gorgeous now I kind of don't like that that little leaf let me think here never mind because I'm gonna put ribbon this is a ribbon from the Magnolia Lane suite it's kind of a canvasy looking um, ribbon I like its texture so I'm going to put this this paper on first see the, the feathers too busy. Yeah, too busy. So glue this little strip down. Let's try it this way. There we go. And so to amp it up a little bit, I'm going to add ribbon to this one. So tucking it around. 
So I just put snail on the back, tuck it over, and let's see, just make sure it's even where I want it. Looks good. Now just to make sure that that sticks down, let's use a glue dot. the messy disc. Just gonna take your take your pick tool, put that little glue dot underneath there. There, won't go flapping in the wind or anything. Of course I have it. Kevin, don't squash your girl's creativity. <sighs> yeah. So anyway, I was talking about keto before. So we, you know, decided to do the keto thing. And we went to we had gone to a workshop about it and um, decided, okay, let's give this a whirl. So I've already lost four pounds last week. Not that that's, I know water weight and everything, but uh, it's nice to see the scale move, that's for sure. Not so nice to see the camera move because it'll make you sick, but I hate birds, but I'm finding it very hard not, not to like this set. Cute. These, love this comes with this kind of set look at these aren't those gorgeous and there's this there they have such beautiful stitching look at that gorgeous so look at all those different sizes that you can use and just put on a card oh love it yeah look can you go there we go hi hi sue good morning so that is what I'm going to stamp my sentiment on, which is going to be your friendship means the world to me. And I think I'm going to use just basic black. I think there's enough color already that I just, just want the sentiment to, to pop. It's a little crooked, but well, this is homemade, not Hallmark. Let's pop that up. Oh, maybe I like this over here. I kind of do. I was going to put it in, kind of in the middle, but I think I like it over there. Let's add some dimensionals. Now, since I have that ribbon there, I'll just I'm gonna put them on either side. Kind of thing. Thanks for sharing, Sue. I appreciate that. Your friendship means the world to me. Now these little guys are actually from a Magnolia set. They're kind of little cork embellishments. I was just hoping to put one kind of, I don't know, like that. I'm not sure. I think you can use snail on this guy. Probably best to use liquid glue. It would stick the best, I'm sure. Just tuck that in there. Now, here we go to add this to our card base, which remember is the um, crumb cake. Oh, we're done. <laughs> we're done with the glue. Let's pick another one. I see this one's not gonna last very long either. That's okay. I like to put snail right over top of that ribbon. Remember, you're gonna get all those little bits. Make sure you cover them with snail because you're going to be cutting around them again and it's easier if they're laying flat. Crumb cake. There we go. And our next item of business here to now cut around your white bird layer. Leaving kind of a border. Come on. Get rid of it if you don't. It's bugging you. Did you have your stamp cat, Lisa, on the weekend? I 
and go right to the crease and then just along the crease give it a cut right to where your trim ended now I didn't like this little bit here let's fix this there throw my bits in the garbage so there's kind of the outline and now you, you can't really see it overly much but when you stick your inside in I stamped that leaf stamp colored it and then I put thanks for being you so let's glue this in it was so easy to color with the blends this set too great so like I said if you like coloring this is a set for you so now you can see kind of the outline kind of frames it a little bit and when you open it so your friendship means the world to me thanks for being you isn't that cute caps on the 15th okay cute i like those little birdies and then for the envelope once again i stamped those leaves i thought they they are kind of cute and i had leftover of this uh, designer series paper to match so i added it on the flap neat hey eh? So there's our second card. So this was a little more fancy just because we added a few extra little bits. Okay, so those are the cards that we're gonna make today. I am now going to show you some other cards that I made. Some examples. So this is the Floral Essence stamp set. And I say there again, all days are beautiful that begin with you. I, I was thinking like you could you could take out that begin all days are beautiful with you isn't that cute or with friendly thoughts and best wishes today and every day wishing you a blissful future so this could definitely be a wedding card um, but I decided to use with friendly thoughts and best wishes today and every day I think it could be for a birthday it could be for all sorts of things but paper that goes with this set is stunning. I almost want to just get 12 by 12 frames and just put them in a frame. <laughs> My daughter and I attended the Manitoba Brain Injury Association walk in Brandon on Saturday. A lady approached me and asked if I was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I said yes. She said, I think you sent me a card. It was Shirley Smith. <laughs> nice. Aw, that's adorable. That's awesome. Hello, Teresa. Good morning to you. So something fun with these, I don't know if you can see there. You can buy these furry little bits that go on the inside of your flowers, which I think is stunning. So this is black, blackberry bisque, very vanilla and uh, old olive. And then on the inside, without re-inking, I just stamped just so it's subtle. And then on the envelope, same sort of thing. I, I just took that same stamp and stamped there. And on the outside here, I just had some extra designer series paper. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, and another one. I have to do a Magnolia, right? I love that Magnolia set. So, Lisa Harden got me started on this gold embossing powder with this set it's so so beautiful and uh, so stamp that that flower cross colored with the blends use that same label that comes with the bird set added some vellum and some pearls this paper also comes with the magnolia set which is pretty so petal pink and then not okay so thanks not only for what you do, but for being someone so special. Is that adorable? Oh, I got that in the mail, I might cry. So here's the extra designer series paper I just put on the flap. And of course I had to show off that gold embossing powder there. I like it. So there's that. You know what? I met somebody who doesn't like the Magnolia set. I'm not sure if we can still be friends. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. She also likes the dinosaur one, and I mm, that's not my style. But I love that everybody has different different things that they like, right? 
this is not a set that captures me at all but I wanted to try and do something with it so let's let's give it a whirl so I stamped a bunch of the images across the way there it also comes with some fun paper what's this called it starts with art so this is this set so all sorts of fun little things I do like the saying so you paint my world with happiness cute you make everything sparkle which I used on here let's stay up late and craft huh? and follow your art so so fun and the framelits that come with it are pretty cool too so I like it in that regard maybe it's the paper that throws me I don't love those colors so maybe if I did it in different colors it might might call you know you know so you make everything sparkle and I had of course I, I don't know if you can see the wink of Stella but I got the wink of Stella going on all sorts of things on there <laughs> so it's very sparkly and bud hair and here's my little I, I do like this little Reinker, I think it's cute. And so there again, I put the paper there and I just stamped three of those little reinkers. I'm watching you while doing lunch in Brandon. Oh my word. Wow. So there, and they have the Wink of Stella on there too. I don't know if you can tell. So Betty, I don't know if you saw the beginning, but you are the winner of the Creative Escape because you shared your version of your card. <laughs> Beginner's luck. <laughs> So thank you for sharing. I'll be sending you a little something in the mail. See, that's with me, Daisy Lane. I'm waiting for my customers to prove me wrong. Yeah, it's it's kind of neat how everybody has their, their thing, right? Okay, so this one is also from this Floral Essence, and I used this stamp. It also comes with a punch. Somewhere over yonder. Anyways. This is the Floral Essence paper. Remember that dark purple one? This one. They also have light bright <laughs> colors. So this is Flirty Flamingo. I used this stamp and I inked it, uh, crushed curry onto white, whisper white, cut it out. I, I raised this paper a little higher on this one. I thought, well, let's, let's try something different. I raised it a little higher, put the, the middles of the white um, uh, flower on there, and then it comes with vellum that you can stamp on. So that's pretty cool. So I punched those out, and then of course alternated them, and then I had to get those little fuzzy, fuzzy centers on there. I think it's cute. I just stamped right onto the cardstock or the designer series paper because it was, you know, light enough that you could still see in Flirty Flamenco. Now, I wasn't thinking too great, but anyways, the inside of my card, I thought, oh, I had this little strip left over. Why not put it in there? But so just be careful that, you know, you don't kind of show things there, I suppose. So there's that one and the envelope. I had just a piece left over because remember I didn't use I used a lot more on the front of the car so I did didn't have quite as much left over to put on my flap but I just made like the ribbon cut on the front of the card and I could stamp that um, stamp on there we'll see all right so there's that one so I hope you give this little set a try, or this kind of technique a try. And like I was saying earlier, I did do ones back in the day where they opened this way and the design was cut open along the side of the card. I'm willing to take those options too. So give this a try. Show us your pictures again this week. I absolutely loved how everybody was sharing their works. Hi, Karen. Oh, you got here. I'm pretty much done, but that's, we're just showing off all the cards that uh, I showed or we made here today. So there we go. All sorts of fun. So show us your projects. I love that. And yes, you're entered into a draw and I, you know, send out prizes. So I would love to see that. 
just a reminder today is the last day for the old catalog so if there is something that you want from that catalog you have got to get it today also a reminder that cardstock is going up in price it's you know not a fortune I think it's 25 50 cents per pack however of course all those little things add up so you know you're gonna need white cardstock I don't know that's kind of a given so I say order it now while you can get it cheaper as opposed to tomorrow which it'll be a lot more you know doctors are something sometimes so slow <laughs> Mm -hmm. what what irks me is you wait you know over a year for a, a specialist appointment you go in there and two minutes later you're done right drives me nuts yes all right so thank you ladies for joining me this morning it was so it's so nice to chit chat with you and so I'm looking for you forward to your projects and we will see you on Wednesday for four cards and friends at seven o'clock mountain time Bye, everyone. Hi, Vicki. Watch the replay. <laughs>